Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be having some simple vanity organization and book reviews and also hauls. For the first, let me just organize my vanity. As you all know, my room is newly renovated. So I did get, I think, two items for home decor. The first one is this candle holder. It's in color golden. And I thought I'd put some scented candles in it, but this came out so small. And by the time my mom saw it, she felt that this is pretty useless because the gold color would fade. So this is not the ideal purchase that I should have made. And this is the second one, basically a tray for home decor or anything of that sort. I decided to use this tray as my vanity. The quality is very good. It's a bit bigger for my vanity desk, but manageable. And this is how my vanity looks right now. I know it's a bit messy. I just traveled back from Bangalore. So the first thing I'm doing is that I'm removing the stuff and cleaning it with Colin. Post which this is how it looks. My home is recently renovated and so you can see that on the edges the finishing is not proper. That is because this room was painted first and then I think 6 months later the furniture was made. And so now I'm a bit helpless and trying some measures to get it clean but this is what I can as of now. So the first thing I'm going to do is place my tray beside the mirror. This place in my room is ideal for sunrise. It's in the east direction so I have a lot of sunlight coming in. So I decided to keep only the usual stuff which doesn't get much affected by sunlight. The skincare which has actives are always in my drawer and a separate section in my cupboard. I initially decided that I'd put all my body mist and essentials like body lotions and and hair oils lip balms on this tray but once I completed it I was then informed that body mist tend to get spoiled quicker if exposed to sunlight and so once I finished decorating I had to change all of this and remove all the body mist and just keep the essentials this is how it looks now I have two lip balms, a hair serum, body oil, a body lotion, hair oil, Vaseline and Dow other lip balm with a comb and a hair clip this is organizing my drawer there I keep all my serums in the drawer so that they're not exposed to sunlight the first serum was niacinamide and then followed by hyaluronic acid This is the transexamic acid from Minimalist and lactic acid from Minimalist. I really love products from Minimalist. I also keep my underarm roll on inside because it has actives. So this is my pouch which has a lot of my makeup, not a lot but the only makeup I do own and I don't want to invest in makeup because it doesn't fascinate me so much so I'll just keep it there as it is and all the things are in bag because I will be traveling to Bangalore for my university every now and then so I just keep it as it is for nail polish as you know I do not invest much in nail polish for my uh, toenails I only like nail polish so these are all the nail, nail polishes that I own Coming to the other section of the drawer, this is where I would want to keep all the visual jewellery, the junk jewellery. I usually use artificial when I'm not at home, basically when I'm in university. Because I have to travel uh, every now and then there, I don't think I would invest in a jewellery organizer for artificial ones. However, I do not like to invest much in them. So this is how the drawer looks and most of the things uh, you'll see very less things here because most of them are in my cupboard uh, here it's only the essentials
this is how the vanity looks early in the morning with the sunlight and the sunlight uh, intensifies during the day the decor is pretty minimal very simple and only whatever is necessary i really liked it for the first go this is how we are keeping the drawers let me know if you liked it because it is really a uh, minimal simple and nothing decorative as such My bathroom shelf is in such a mess because the way I left for Bangalore I was late and I pretty much left everything as it is coming back 5 days later this is how it looks for the first I'm just emptying the shelf and cleaning all of this and as you can see the finishing in my bathroom is not very proper you can see the black cement left and stuff like that i'm just adjusting to it because it is newly renovated i'm just trying some diys to get rid of it but as of now i couldn't do anything so i'm just washing the shelves as of now I don't even need to dry these shelves because of the summer heat they are just drying by themselves so I just decided that I'd arrange all my products The first one that I'm keeping there is for cleaning purposes This is Khadi bath salt which I really enjoyed using my uh, for my bath it's empty I may use it as a food soap now The next one is the body shop conditioner which I don't like at all and these two are the shargels from Bath and Body Works and I don't use them regularly the next one is a shaving foam for my shaving then there are two razors one for the face and one for the body this is how it looks as of now then i use two body scrubs every now and then the first one is from bath and body works the second one is my top favorite the body scrubs they works excellently well the next one is the hair mask which i use and then i have two face masks uh the one from earth rhythm is my favorite i am just using the dermaco i don't yet see any changes so this is how the upper shelf looks right now coming to the lower shelf uh, the first one is my uh, shampoo this i have restocked first one is almost done so the second one is the conditioner this is my favorite conditioner from l'oreal that's all i do for my hair care and then coming to shower gels this is the recently gotten shower gel and then i have the dove body wash The next one is the Centiles body wash. I also have a Dove calming body wash. Avino body wash is almost done. I have two body washes with actives. One is the 1% uh, salicylic acid by Chemist at Clay and the other is the 5% niacinamide body wash. Uh this is baby dow body wash this is for the sensitive bits and then I have my holy grail face wash this is from Himalaya and I'll always be using it so this is how the entire bath shelf looks like I like having variety this is the before and after picture coming to the halls part of today The first hauls are the ones I got from Bangalore. This is a body mist called Summer Night. I got it from Miniso for three sixty rupees. Sorry, two sixty rupees, and I really liked it. It's not long lasting, but for the amount we pay, I think it's a good deal. The second one that I got is the Weekly Planner. Ah, uh, this comes in fifty two sheets. 52 sheets is enough for a year and I got it for 200 rupees. 
although the way i would say instagram reels about mini so finds but when i did actually go to the store i didn't find anything of that good quality then i went to this store it was called beauty and beyond i did find charges uh, this brand this comp- i don't know how it is pronounced but this is something i did not see so i went ahead and tried this this is the moisturizing charger with goat milk and pearl powder this has menthol in it and it's so refreshing and soothing definitely i'd be using it the second one is from the same company it's the shower cream made of goat's milk this one is a mild shower cream and not a big fan of this but the coconut the uh, smell is soothing but both of these fragrances don't last very long it's just for a wash 10 to 20 minutes that's all so this is all the things i got from bangalore moving on to ajio hall the first one is a pair of sandals this in the description was mentioned as the heel height would be 1.3 inches so i thought it would be an everyday wear but as you can see it's definitely not 1.3 inches The quality of this is okay and I got it for around 498 rupees. Same brand on Myntra is priced very high. The second product is a uh, flat sandals by this brand which I got this for around 300. Quality is much better than the first brand. I do not know about the durability too. Let's just see how it goes. The third one is again from the same as the first brand. These are mustard uh, sandals. The quality again is not very good. As you can see, the buckles are very thin and very uh, sensitive. So the quality is a bit low, but the price I guess for this I paid is around five hundred. I really wanted a mustard sandal, and so I got this one. The same on Myntra was again very expensive. The heel height is very low and it's very comfortable to walk. The only thing is the strap behind is very thin and so it just makes me think if it's going to break or something of that sort. The next product that I got from Ajio is this dress. This is the most beautiful short dress, my best order from Ajio. I got it for 300 rupees. The belt or uh, given in this dress is pretty much faded but I can manage it with some other belt. The quality of this dress is really great considering that I've gotten it for 300. This has to be the best order I please from Ajio. Coming to the next product which you can see beside is this uh, white trousers by Silverfly I guess. Now I uh, let me tell you this is where I feel Ajio is a scam uh, because The first time I ordered this, I got it some torn uh, white trousers with some different brand and then I replaced it and then I got this. The same happened to my mother as well. She ordered uh one really good sandals from a good brand. The way uh she got a uh, used sandal delivered that was so disappointing. We have successfully returned and got a refund. but this is not you what you expect when you order from brands like Ajio the current book i'm reading is the merchant of venice from william shakespeare it's a summary of the book the short form although a bit boring as i can tell you let me i'll just finish and then give you a review Now this is the book that I really wanted to give you a review about. Remember in the last video I told you that it just went boring. The next page that I flipped the plot turned out to be very interesting and that made the entire storyline interesting. I really like the story of this. Uh the way they solve their traumas and I literally love everything about this. but i would tell you that twice i did feel the author's writing was some kind of yuck like i really cannot describe how it is but it is so when the first time i encountered the para i just felt a strong hatred towards the character but then i realized it's the way the author writes that you just feel like what on earth is written 
but other than the two segments that i read rest everything this book i really liked it i really enjoyed reading overall this book is really good and i highly suggest that you read it thank you for watching i'll see you all in my next video